She's praying so intently. Thinking about it, she must be even more distressed right now than I am. Why, hello, Reen! <laughs> You're looking rather well today. Much better than you were yesterday, at any rate. I feel loads better, actually. Thanks. How about you? Are you managing all right here? I'm guessing life in a tiny village like this is harder than you're used to. If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, though, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, not at all. I've been simply loving my stay here. The scenery is stunning. The hot springs are all so soothing. To say nothing of your mother's spectacular cooking. I'm having the time of my life here. I almost envy Elise for growing up in such a wonderful place. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Still. On top of all that, I was able to reunite with you here. <laughs> oh, and meet a mysterious talking cat, too. Not everyone gets to do that now, do they? Nope. Nope, they don't. I still haven't had the pleasure of meeting that ashen knight of yours, however. Perhaps I might have the chance once he wakes up? <laughs> I suppose I can dream. Um, well... <laughs> You're touching a princess. You're not supposed to do that. I realize I'm the last person who has any right to say this, but there's no need to force yourself to bottle everything up and put on a brave face. I know how worried I am about my classmates, so I can only imagine how you must feel. to be royalty I shouldn't be getting all worked up about something like this but I just thinking of what my family must be going through is just too much to bear Aww. Cedric and I we had a fight on the morning it all happened I was planning to make up with him that evening but I, I... I'm sure he won't hold that against you you'll be able to make up with him next time you see him I'm sure that'll be sooner than you think, too. But in the meantime, there's no need to force yourself to seem like being apart from them isn't bothering you. Royalty or not, no one would blame you for being worried or upset. And every single one of us here wants to do what we can to help you. I... <sighs> Thank you. I'm fine now. Um, I, I hope I don't sound ungrateful, but I think you should be spending more time with Elise rather than me. This is your first chance in a while to spend some quality time together. I'd hate to take that away from her. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's true that she's a little more dependent on me than you'd expect for a girl her age. But that doesn't mean she needs me hovering around her all the time. Then again, she did seem more shaken up than usual. Maybe you're right. I should try and cheer her up while I still can. Th that's not exactly what I meant. Oh, this is so difficult on a fair maiden's heart, I hope you know. <laughs> you're just making me wish you were my brother all the more! Why? <laughs> Or often. Ahem. I have to say, though, I'm really glad I had the opportunity to visit you, Mir. Oliver came here himself some time ago, and ever since then I've wanted to see it for myself. Hmm, not to mention the fact that it's given us the chance to really get to know one another without any pretensions. Oh? That's the first I've heard of Prince Oliver coming here. Though I guess it makes sense, knowing that the Phoenix Wings was built as a gift from the Imperial family. From what I remember, it was just before he left for Liberal, two years ago. I think it's actually Liberal, if I say it right. I always say it wrong. He couldn't stop talking about how much he was looking forward to the hot springs. Back then, he wasn't quite as popular as he is now, so he was apparently able to do it without anyone recognizing him. No wonder I don't remember it. Back then, I wasn't in Ymir, 
Much thanks to my eight leaves training. <laughs> I can only imagine how close we might be today if you'd been able to make his acquaintance back then. Mm -hmm. Glad she, she's back to her usual self. Liberal? Liberal. 